So I'm usually a pretty big wuss when it comes to horror movies, so I try and avoid the genre as much as possible. Um, I know that being said, there's a lot of great films in the genre, so I'm trying to be brave and branch out and watch some of them. So today I'm going to watch the 1981 film My Bloody Valentine. I don't know the plot, I don't know the director, I don't know the cast, I don't know anything like that. Um, guessing off the title, maybe more of like a slasher film, just because bloody is in the title. Um, probably a high body count and maybe something taking place around Valentine's Day or February, something like that. Maybe it's a very literal title, I don't know, um, but that's kind of my only prediction. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you're ever curious about what gear I use or what's on the bookshelf, I've included a link in the description. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Neil Affleck, any relation to the other Affleck brothers? They're wearing like gas masks in like an underground mine or something. Oh my, it's getting spicy. Okay. What are they down here mining for? Mmm, -hmm. smooches? Oh. I feel like this is gonna be a slasher film. Oh my. Stephen Miller, I don't recognize that name. Is he gonna keep the mask on? Straight into the spicy scenes. Right. Oh, that green eyeshadow, yes. But he hates tattoos. Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god. This is gonna be super cheesy, isn't it? My bloody Valentine. He like lures women. Okay, yeah, February 12th. He lures women to this underground mine. That's okay. Seems like a red flag, like right off the bat, you know? <laughs> Mind fight. Especially now, she said was going out with Axel. Uh oh. Rivalry. I don't give a damn. Famous last words. Okay! Okay! It's a very aggressive shower. It seems like a campy comedy. Like, what is this music? Like, oh my god, this guy's not even got his pants on yet. Working in the mines. Oh, a sign of true friendship. They don't kick you in the butt. Are they even your friend? Valentine Bluffs, the little town with big heart. Okay. Is that a real place? Comment below and let me know. Yeah, no need to follow the rules of the road, it's cool. In this town in years, your decorating committee has done one hell of a job. Well, after all, the first Valentine's dance in 20 years. Moosehead? Is this Canadian? Suspish. Where's he off to? Nice <laughs> Okay, someone left him a secret present. Good cheer. Remember what happened as the 14th draws near. Oh god, it's a human heart. Oh my god. Okay, so something happened previously around this time of year, and he's like, hey, don't forget what happened. The cage. This is a Nick Cage uh, themed bar. I know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you now. This town is accursed. You know, it started 20 years ago. Okay. Cursed town. 
officers were waiting for the men to come up. <laughs> Anxious to get to the party, they left before the men were safely out. Oh, no. Failing to check the methane gas levels in the tunnels down below. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Five. Oh, my gosh. The town continued its party. <laughs> That's horrible. Six weeks back to town. He killed the two supervisors who had left the post. The year oh today. my God! Ooh. Forget about having a party at all on Saturday night. You may not live to see daylight. <laughs> yeah, they said this is the first year that they've had a dance in 20 years, which makes sense. Obviously, there's some uh, horrible tragedy happened, and these guys obviously aren't taking it seriously. They think it's like just like an urban legend, and this. Harry character comes back to town with his pickaxe covered in blood. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, and he's like, they were stuck in the mine while people, the townspeople were having this dance, so his warning is like, don't have a dance and I won't come back, basically. Like, that's his one serial killer rule is don't have a Valentine's Day dance, which is obviously what they're planning on doing this year. I think this is the first horror movie I've seen about a mine. Like, the legend isn't anything new. Like, we've seen that before in horror movies where, like, 20 years ago, something terrible happened and now this guy haunts the streets. Um, but taking place specifically in a mine is new and having, obviously, the Valentine's Day theme. And art department must have just bought everything they found that was red or pink. And I always think it's funny when there's like themed movies, like if they film it in like July, how easy it is to find that stuff. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the beer and some of the accents um, from some of the actors are making me wonder if this is a Canadian film. Comment below and let me know. Oh God, whose heart are they bringing this time? Yeah. One is dead, so are you. Oh shoot, these like cryptic poems that he's leaving. Ah, yep, look out. No, get away. Oh my get god. Away. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's gonna be a high body count. Oh god, he's gonna murder this whole town. Oh god, run. Yep. Had a Mabel's laundrette. Well, what more do we need to know? It's gotta be Harry. Yeah, his records at the Didn't asylum are missing. Oh, the heart's turned upside down. Okay, he's like leaving clues. Oh god, you put her in the wash. Oh god, poor Mabel. Yeah, that would be horrible. Oh my god. I think it was the dryer, but either way, yeah. Oh my god, you just get like boiled alive. Ugh. And he probably stole her heart as well. Ugh. Gross. A heart attack, and that's all. You breathe one word of this to anybody, and you'll have to answer to me. Yeah, he doesn't want the town to go into a panic over this. Wait a minute, what's this? Although maybe they should be. Oh, God. Oh, he left them a note. Oh, he loves his... He loves his trinkets. Take away. Yeah, I wonder why he just left. If they ever really explain why he just decided to leave town, or if he just didn't want to work in the mines anymore. Because his dad seems very adamant that that's what he does if he's going to be here, so... How was I supposed to know that, Jesse? I honestly didn't think you were ever coming back. I thought his name was TJ. I'm sorry. I'm so damn sorry. Definitely sounds like he's Canadian. Oh, the smooch. Yeah, he just, like, picked up and left and didn't tell anybody where he was going, and then she started dating somebody else, but now he's back, and is like, just kidding, let's get back together. 
Okay, now the dance is cancelled, should the killings like stop? But I feel like they'll still have some kind of party just because they want to and they've put so much work into the first one already. Right. Is the chief Harry? Night chief. Mm. Oh, the night Yeah, because if there's no record of him at the asylum. Suspish. And he'd be like about the right age. How about my father's mine, huh? Are TJ, you crazy? The mine! They're gonna have a party in the mine. In the mine! That'd be great. You would! What a blast! Ha 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 ha! Mine joke. Beware of what you make fun of, you little asshole! Who? You! This bartender's gonna outlive them all. Yeah, and especially in a town named after Valentine. The fact that you couldn't have a Valentine's Day celebration. Well, I'll give them a scare them or forget it. Oh my god. That'd be terrifying. It's gonna hang. Oh my gosh. That's like actually sharp, though. That could actually hurt somebody. Oh my gosh. Nightmare. Nightmare fuel. The time you put into creating this. Ah! Yeah, you got chopped. Yeah, you created the real thing. Oh my god. Bye. Man, I thought he was the smartest one, but guess not. Oh my god, that would be so painful, just being dragged across. Ugh. He just had to keep looking at his own prank, thinking he was so funny. And like the theme of love and Valentine's Day and this guy's using it as like an excuse to uh, murder people. Uh... Com yeah, like I said, comment below, where was this filmed? Because I'm imagining that's a real mine. Maybe not the interior, but the exterior shots looked very real. And yeah, I feel like the mine is like the biggest source of employment for this place. So if you live here, basically you work in the mine or that's it. Oh, I got bonked in the head with the hamburger buns. I wouldn't trust it still. I would not be eating those chocolates. No, sir. Yeah, the note. That's why you always leave a note. From Mabel. That's interesting, considering Mabel was taking a tumble in the dryer earlier. Hmm. Oh my god. Hey. Yes, this look. I'm obsessed with the plaid, the neck scarf, the denim. I need more of this in my life. I like this, uh, I like this John Candy knockoff. So goofy. Every great party has hot dogs. Oh. Ah, what? Oh my god. Oh, he's getting dunked in the hot dog water. Oh, gross. Uh, the death scenes have been creative. I will give them that. Putting people in a dryer, drowning them in hot dog water. I mean, it may be a slasher, but at least they're creative with how they're killing these people. That's it. It's really hard to sound threatening in a Canadian accent. It's just, it's not our strong suit. Over apologizing, we've got that down. Destroy your perp in there? <laughs> oh god, that would hurt your brain. Ah! What a goof. This is my thinking stool. I come out here and think about life. And chug my beers. You stay here, and I'll be back in a flash. I think when you come back, she's gonna be dead. Don't take too long. Back in a minute. Oh, that'd be so Bye. creepy. Bye! Yeah, bye forever! Same old shit. Just 
Back to making more hot dogs. Oh, God. Oh, that's the water you died in? Yeah, they're in dead man's hot dogs. Oh, yeah, boiled heart. Oh, <laughs> gross. Oh, look, his head's in the fridge. Oh, God. The special effects have been okay. I, they've been, like, very brief scenes that we've seen, but they haven't been the worst. Is that actually how they store, like, the coveralls and stuff from mines? They hang them up like that? Ah! Attack of the coveralls. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God, there was a person on that one. Oh, God, he's gonna put her on a hook. Oh, God, he loves the face grab, this guy. Oh! Oh, that's so sharp. It looks so sharp already. Oh, God. You're too late, bud. Sorry I took so long, babe. Yeah, well, babe's, uh, R.I.P. Sylvia. Sylvia. Keep your clothes on there, bud. I know you're in there. Yeah, oh, you're not wrong. Oh, God. Shouldn't have had that dang party. It's like a very simple rules. It's supposed to be like a roller coaster, isn't it? It's 2,000 feet down. It's okay, I'll cheer her up anyway. Come on. How would going down a mine shaft cheer anybody up? Down there, you know the rule. No women in the mine. We're gonna come right back up again, believe it's me. It's a sexist mine? <laughs> the mine will be able to tell? We made it. You just let me know. <laughs> Woo! This is just a recipe for disaster. Hey, you want to go down to the mine on the anniversary of a horrible mine accident? Come in. Come on. I'm coming. I just heard something. Probably yes. some rats. Ah. <laughs> I think rats would be the least of your concerns. We'll meet you in ten minutes over at the main shaft. Ten minutes? Oh, well, someone's ambitious. Yeah, oh, it's starting to add up. Oh, let's hope you have enough change to make this call. Okay, now listen. I want you to make sure everybody gets out of here. And I want you to get the chief. Yeah, except for the people down in the mine. Oh, shoot. Yeah, and hopefully the people that are leaving will send help whenever they get to town. But, who knows. I'm enjoying it so far. Like, it's definitely cheesy and goofy, but it's still been entertaining. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I haven't worked down here in years. Not since Harry Warden. <gasps> Cheese and crackers. Oh, my heart. Oh. That got me so good. Why did you guys jump? <laughs> oh god, he got him. Oh my god. Run! What, like they're hooked into something? What? Oh no! Oh god! Oh no, I liked him! Get out of there! Ah! Oh god! Oh! Oh god, they shot him in the with like a nail gun or something? Oh my god! Oh, right in the gut. Oh, God. Oh, that would hurt so much. Bonked him. Oh, we cut the box so they can't get out? Oh, my God. We smashed the control panel. There's no way we're getting out of here. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. What are we gonna do? 
climb. Yeah, there's like a one way in and one way out, basically. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, there's a ladder, okay. <gasps> oh god! Oh! That was Howard! Oh my god, that's a long way to fall. Oh, such a fake dummy, but still. Oh my gosh. Oh. They're like, just kidding, go back down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because he was standing at the top. We're clear, come on over. <laughs> oh, did they get Axel? Oh my god. Ah! Oh god. Oh god, run. Oh, he just got Patty. Oh, frick. I don't think anybody's making it out here alive. Oh god, there he is. No, 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 Go, go, go! Oh man, the last two, and of course he's just gonna climb right in, cause why not? Yeah, oh! Oh, of course it's like the slowest moving card ever, they're like, get going, hurry! Oh! Oh god! Bonked him. Excellent bonk. Oh, danger, keep out. Well, oh, this is the abandoned part of the mine. I feel like this whole thing's gonna come crashing down on them in four seconds. I feel like everything is structural. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, bonked him. No, 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 they're so close! <gasps> what? It was Axel? What? Oh! Oh, poor Axel. The trauma. The trauma. Oh, bonked him. Oh. Axel was the son of one of the supervisors from the first mine accident. Yeah, because I was like, he wouldn't be old enough to be Harry, obviously. Oh my gosh. It was Axel the whole time. I thought it was the chief, to be honest, but. I got a call from Eastfield late this evening. They said that Harry Warden died five years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, he's dead. On Valentine's Day, that Harry Warden killed Axel's father. Yes. Let's get in there. Yeah, and then Axel's just been seeking revenge, but not against the person who killed his dad, because Harry's already dead. He's just seeking revenge on the town and the mine and like people who are still celebrating on the anniversary of his dad's death. Oh man. The town is going to die. We're coming back, you bastards. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like he lost his hand or part of his arm, but he's obviously alive and escaping. Or is he just going to hang out in the mine for a while? I don't know. Well, that's creepy. So are they setting up for a sequel or a remake or anything like that? Comment below and let me know. Oh, man, yes. Ugh. Whenever the sea, you could see the fear in there. Yeah, produced the Canadian film development. Yes. And it has its own theme song. Oh. So that was my first time watching the 1981 film, My Bloody Valentine. Um, it did take place over Valentine's Day and over like February 12th to the 14th. We did obviously also see that uh, flashback or the retelling of a story that had happened in this town, which was also named Valentine's Bluff. Um, so the whole town is Valentine's Day themed and there had unfortunately been a tragedy in this town 20 years ago in the mine. 
and not the most original. Like we've seen horror movies before where there's like a tragedy 20 years before and now someone's coming for revenge. But I did like the twist at the end. Um, and like I said, I don't think I've seen one that's like mine specific. And the death scenes were creative with Mabel unfortunately being put in the dryer and just I can't even think about how horrible that would be. And his common theme of ripping up people's hearts and leaving these like cryptic notes in Valentine's Day boxes. And when that guy drowned in boiling hot dog water like oh my god just so gross and definitely a slasher film but I think the creative death scenes and the twist at the end gave it a little bit more substance we didn't find out too much about the character's backstory but again I think that's pretty common with uh, slasher films there was a few like romantic scenes as we saw this TJ character came back to town and the girl that he was dating Sarah is now dating somebody else and I guess he just up and left and didn't really tell anybody um, and now she's now dating dating Axel who we find out is the murderer at the end. It was an interesting twist and we find out that Axel was the son of one of the supervisors that Harry had killed um, 20 years ago and I was wondering what was going on. I figured there would be a twist or something like that and I kind of had my suspicions about who Harry was. I thought maybe he would be the chief. Again you're thinking it's going to be someone older like the audience is thinking okay this happened 20 years ago. If Harry is still alive he would be you know he's not going to be this young 20 year old or however old um, Axel is but definitely not 40 I feel like confidently enough to say he's not in his 40s um, so you're automatically not suspecting anybody in his age range um, and then we find out that he was in fact the son and it's more a revenge story for his dad and he hates this town he hates the mine he's at the end we see him leaving and he's alive and escaping through the mine and even though it looks like he's injured he's like I'm gonna come back and like I'm gonna destroy this town so um, like I said comment below if there are sequels or remakes or anything like that it feels like they definitely set it up to go that direction but I don't know if there is I'm glad they added in that twist um, and that it wasn't just oh here's Harry um, there definitely was some little hints throughout that kind of didn't add up like when they called the asylum and they have no record of him and he's not there and you could be like okay well it's been 20 years maybe they don't keep records that far back and she's like well the only reason we wouldn't have records of him is if you know he's dead or he got transferred somewhere else and then the chief finds out as he's running into the mine that Harry had in fact died five years earlier and it's interesting to think like would have Axel have just stayed like a regular citizen until this dance and that obviously triggered him and brought back memories of his dad dying and how much he hates this town and it's interesting like they said this was the first dance they'd had in 20 years it's like okay well if they'd waited another 20 years would he have waited that long to seek his revenge or would he have you know something would have happened in between because clearly this was something that was driving him crazy and that he was thinking about and went to great lengths to like this wasn't just like oh one shot and you're dead like he it was personal to him you know he's seeking vengeance for his dad and obviously suffered a lot of trauma as a little boy and it was an interesting concept to have the theme and the holiday that's usually surrounded by love and like celebration as his reason for hating things and for being so angry and the day that people are typically celebrating love is the day that he associates with his dad dying and this horrible accident and Harry and even the way Axel is calling off Harry's name when he runs away and is like singing that creepy song like I wonder if when Axel was old enough if Harry was still alive if he would have gone after him um yeah I don't know how long he's been planning this revenge or if he was just waiting for this town to have a dance um and then we see them even like okay now that the dance is cancelled they're gonna go have this party at the mine Definitely very 80s, definitely very cheesy, but I love cheesy 80s movies, so that was perfect for me. Um, I did enjoy it overall. Um, like I said, I like that twist, and I'm pretty sure it was filmed in Canada. Um, the Moosehead beer is pretty much a dead giveaway, as, I, as far as I know, that's only available in Canada. And the accents definitely sounded Canadian, um, and especially TJ's. I've, I don't think I've seen that actor or anything before, um, and his accent definitely sounded Canadian, especially in the scenes when he's trying to sound like really assertive. Um, and some of the words he was pronouncing sounded very Canadian and then as I was watching the credits at the end we find out that it was funded by the Canadian film so I feel very confident it was filmed in Canada or at least parts of it were filmed in Canada um, 
I don't imagine it was a high budget film, but it didn't feel cheap. It didn't feel low budget. Um, the scenes where we had any amounts of like intense gore or intense like special makeup or effects or anything like that, they were very brief. Um, and I think that's a good way of doing it. Um, and some movies I know don't show anything at all and it's all done off camera, but I thought they did a good job. Like when we saw Mabel in the dryer, it was a very quick flash, like maybe like two or three seconds and then it's cut away. And even when we see that guy's head in the fridge, it's like maybe five or 10 seconds. Like they don't give you enough time to stare at it to really like, well, it's gross and they don't give you enough time to like really analyze it and like see if it's fake or anything like that. But I thought it was well done from what I saw. It looked decent given the time frame. Um, when we saw Howard fall into the mine shaft and his body hit the ground, th that was very clearly a dummy. I really liked that character, uh, Hollis, who felt like very much a John Candy uh, knockoff, but I thought he was great. I love TJ's outfit when he's wearing that like denim and neck scarf and just that, I don't know if anybody's ever done that for cosplay, but I feel like that was super fun. The colors of red and white and pink and colors that we normally associate with Valentine's Day were very prevalent, especially when they're setting it for the dance. Like I feel like that would have been so fun to decorate. And like I said, like I wonder if they would have filmed it in November or July and Valentine's Day stuff wasn't like that seasonal stuff wasn't available um, So yeah, I'm curious how they sourced that stuff if they just had to make a bunch of it Axel was definitely a, like a detailed killer. Like I said, it wasn't just like the one shot and then he's done He's taking the time to buy these boxes leave these notes like and he obviously knows the townspeople and knows where they'll be and somehow is able to be alone with these people that he's not missing from other places during his like death scene when he drowns or is implied that he drowns again we never see the body or anything like that we just see bubbles and he obviously knows he's the killer and wants to escape because he wants to attack the two people that are left and he's obviously the one that smashed the buttons on the mine shaft so they'd be trapped down there um, and he's obviously very familiar with the mine as he now works there and grew up in this town and uses that to his advantage for his evil doings. I don't know if he knows that Harry is dead, um, if he's like shouting his name at the end, if he's gonna try and track him down. Yeah it was it was very interesting because you think he would go after Harry so maybe he does know he's dead and is now trying to like in Harry's honor continue his legacy or something twisted like that. I don't know. His revenge and his anger seems to have grown from just being about Harry. The person who's actually responsible for killing his dad has gone to this whole town now. He blames the whole town for this incident which they were all out celebrating Valentine's Day when this mine accident happened. But yeah, I thought it was an interesting twist. There were a few scenes that kind of reminded me of Sleepaway Camp, another 80s horror film. Um, I know it didn't take place at camp, but just this thing stalking them. You don't know what it is. Um, and that scene with the guy getting boiled alive in the hot dog water. Um, there's a scene with a chef in the kitchen in Sleepaway Camp as well. So that's kind of what it reminded me of. And I'm pretty sure this is the first movie I've seen where anybody has been killed by dying via drowning in hot dog water. So yeah, definitely creative points there. And the dryer scene as well, definitely memorable. And obviously the twist ending, which Sleepaway Camp is famous for, and there was a twist ending in this. No, definitely not as shocking as Sleepaway Camp, but uh, still a twist. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was cheesy, super 80s. I love that it was filmed in Canada. Um, I thought the concept was interesting. Like I said, I hadn't seen it taking place in a mine before. And then the twist with Axel at the end. Um, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for horror movies you think I should watch, please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content curse town <laughs> his records at the asylum are missing oh the hearts turned upside down oh god he put her in the wash bonked in the head with the hamburger buns every great party has hot dogs oh <laughs> gross oh look his head's in the fridge how would going down a mine shaft cheer anybody up